When we say that the spiritual master is perfect, it means everything he's done is done is motivated by love, motivated by love for Krishna. And in and the condition of love, even imperfections are perfect. <laughs> you know, in the spiritual world, uh, Atreya Rishi wrote a letter to Prabhupada back in 71, I think, where he's saying, uh, 72, I can't deal with the GBC anymore. He says that it's, there's so much arguing and it's all very imperfect and everyone makes mistakes in their judgments. And Prabhupada said, that, that's because we're human. He wrote him back in a letter. He says, we're all human, therefore we make mistakes. He said, the difference is mistakes in connection with Krishna are all glorious. He says, in the spiritual world, sometimes Krishna gets so distracted by uh, Radharani becomes so distracted by Krishna, she puts her sari on upside down. And Krishna gets so distracted looking at Radharani, he tries to milk a bull. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you know, mistakes are also glorious when they're in connection with Krishna. So perfection isn't some artificial idea that, you know, the spiritual master knows how many hairs there are in your head. or No, well, he, he knows everything, meaning he knows everything to help you become Krishna conscious. So, you know, in, in assessing definitions of, of absolute, perfect, you know, infallible, we, 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 you don't drag your material conception of these words into the spiritual realm. It, is, it means something different in connection to Krishna consciousness. So in terms wow. of... You, you're, you're an expert at flipping the paradigm. You know, sometimes some some devotees may say, or some people may say that if we are questioning or contextualizing Prabhupada's statements, that is dragging our material conceptions on Shri Prabhupada. Well, that could be a danger, but the same danger can come in the other way also, that we are dragging our material conceptions of how an acharya should be, or we would like an acharya to be omniscient. Don't do that. Hmm. Don't, don't, don't try to judge someone on the spiritual platform, platform by your material standards. There's that verse in Chaitanya Charitamrita. If you see Nityananda Prabhu going into a liquor store, don't, don't condemn him. Don't judge him. You can't, you can't tell the, the behavior of a pure devotee. You, you can't judge that. And if you try, if, if your standards are so strict... You know, you're going to get into trouble because as soon as there's a, con a, a conflict and you don't understand it, then you'll go away. That's what happened when people tried to apply such material standards. Prabhupada said, we never went to the moon. And then they bloop. They, they leave Krishna consciousness because they're judging Prabhupada's statements by their material standards. You, how do you do that? Going to the moon means being able to go there and stay there. Yeah. You know, there, there are... There are interviews that Prabhupada had with uh, reporters. I've read this very carefully. He leaves it quite open-ended. You know, he, he, does, he says, even if they went to the moon, <laughs> they couldn't stay there because it's not a, an earth environment. You know, you don't have the proper body for living on the moon. So it wasn't that he was making some kind of absolute judgment that, uh, anyway, the, the point is, yeah, you know, if you get hung up with these um, things uh, too uh, too too much, you can get into a lot of trouble about it. And you know, Prabhupada, I can I can reassure you from my own experience, he was a warm, wonderful, um, transcendental human being <laughs> you know, who who um, in this lifetime went through experiences and so he was very sensitive and compassionate to people knew from his own experience uh what marriage was like what it meant to be a father what it meant to work in a business he had all those experiences in his lifetime you know he, he would always ask me when i came to see him he said how's your wife i said oh, she's fine. he said good uh, don't fight he said she said he said husband and wife should love each other Otherwise, the relationship becomes dry. Now, you don't hear that. Not at sure all. Would... <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> all that you know. we hear is don't be attached to each other. 
Oh, women, the left breast is anger and the right breast, you know, <laughs> these crazy things. <laughs> and here's, here's my, my Prabhupada, you know, the Prabhupada I have in my heart, who is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful person who, um, above everything else, was compassionate to people, understood, you know, everyone comes from, this is a material world after all. Nobody has a happy story to tell. So can you not be compassionate enough with someone to reach out a hand of, of love and, and, and uh, support to them? Whatever your beliefs may be about the role of women or this or that, how will you make any progress if you think you are better than anybody? <laughs> 